The next type of time shift operation that we are going to see is time advance. In the previous lecture, we have seen the time delay operation. For time advance, we are going to write y of n is equal to x of n plus k. Okay, where original signal is advanced. by k samples. Whenever you encounter a plus sign in between two variables over here, that means you are performing time advance. Whenever you encounter a minus sign between two variables, that means you are performing time delay on a, a particular signal. Okay? Let us understand this better with the help of an example. Let's say x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and my arrow is over here. What do you mean? Uh, what does it mean when the arrow is pointed to the first number? That means my origin is over here. Okay. Towards my right, the numbers will go on increasing. So, this is the first position. This is the second position. This is the third position. Okay. Now, I have to find y of n is equal to x of n plus 1. This is what I have to find. Okay. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, like I had, uh, this is very similar to the example that we have done for time delay. Okay. We have to make a table. The first column would be n. The second column would be x of n. And the third column would be x of n plus 1. Okay. So, let's just. Okay. Now, for n, we have the following values. This is n, right? So, we have 0, we have 1, 2 and 3. What is x of n? When, when n is equal to 0, x of n is equal to 1. Then, 2, 3 and 4. While calculating x of n plus 1, I am simply substituting the value of n in this particular equation. So, value of n over here is 0. I have 0 plus 1 which is x of 1. I know the value of x of 1. It is nothing but 2. Here, I substitute the value of n. So, 1 plus 1 which is x of 2. I know the value of x of 2 which is, uh, which is nothing but 3. Then I have x of 2 plus 1 which is nothing but x of 3. I know the value of x of 3 which is nothing but 4. Okay. Now, I will write x of 3 plus 1 which is nothing but x of 4. According to the question provided to me, I do not know the value of x of 4. So, I am simply going to write 0. According to the question given, I have 4 non-zero values. Okay? In this case, I have 3 non-zero value and 1 zero value. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to, instead of extending n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 4, I am simply going to write n is equal to and, and check the value for n is equal to minus 1. Now, we do not know what is x of minus 1. We do not know what is x of minus 1. So, we are going to simply write a dash over here. Okay, So, we do not have to write anything over here in this column. Just we do not know the value of x of minus 1. Now, what we are going to do is simply substitute minus 1 over here in place of n and then let us see what we get. We get x of 0. We know the value of x of 0 which is nothing but 1. So, now we have got 4 non-zero values. Right? Okay, We have got 4 non-zero values from this particular table. The next step would be to draw the two signals. Okay? Now, uh, considering this is the question, I am going to draw this signal first. I okay? will uh, take it on the next page. I have n on the x axis, x of n on the y axis. Okay? 0, 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री एंड फोर ओवर हियर ओके नाउ एट नाउ दिस इज माई एन राइट फॉर एक्स ऑफ एन ओके एट एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो माई एक्स ऑफ एन इज वॉट वन एट एन इज इक्वल टू वन माई एक्स ऑफ एन इज टू एट एन इज इक्वल टू टू माई एक्स ऑफ एन इज थ्री एट एन इज इक्वल टू फोर माई एक्स ऑफ एन इज आई एम सॉरी एट एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री माई एक्स ऑफ एन इज फोर ओके सो सिंपली राइट वन टू थ्री फोर एज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द सिग्नल ओवर हियर ओके नाउ दिस इज माई ओरिजिनल सिग्नल ओके नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द मॉडिफाइड सिग्नल फॉर द मॉडिफाइड सिग्नल आई एम गोइंग टू लुक एट द टेबल दैट आई हैव ड्रॉन प्रीवियसली ओके सो दिस इज माई एन ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस एंड दिस इज माई एक्स ऑफ एन प्लस वन ऑन द वाई एक्सिस ओके सो आई हैव टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट आई हैव ऑल द नेगेटिव टूवर्ड्स द राइट आई हैव ऑल द पॉजिटिव सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सो ऑन ओके here we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so this is what we have here now i have a value for n is equal to minus 1 what is the value the value is 1 do i have the value for n is equal to 0 yes i have the value for n is equal to 0 what is it it's 2 For n is equal to one, it's three. For n is equal to two, it's four. Okay, I do not have a value for n is equal to three. Now, this is my modified signal. comparing these two signals comparing signal number 1 and signal number 2 what do i see that the time has been advanced why is this called a uh, time advance because the signal is coming uh, is starting one unit before the original signal okay x of n is my original signal x of n plus 1 is my modified signal when i say plus what do i mean i am advancing i am performing time advance on the signal so the signal is coming one unit before so this is what it looks like when it is plus the signal shifts to the to the left by one unit okay for x uh, of n plus 1 that means the signal that is the signal is advanced by one unit okay so this is how time advance is performed just for practice you can also solve uh for y of n is equal to x of n plus 3 okay the question here will be x of n is equal to 1 2 3 4 okay the arrow is over here all right what do you mean by the arrow being here that means my origin is over here this will be minus 1 this will be 1 2 you have to calculate for you have to calculate for x of n plus 3 okay now this is an assignment that you have to do on your own it is pretty simple it is uh, exactly like we did the previous problem okay i am simply going to uh, for the solution i am simply going to draw the original signal and the uh modified signal for you to compare okay so let's draw the original signal uh i'll do it on the next page itself
x axis n, y axis x of n, okay, and the modified signal will be x axis n, y axis x of n plus 3, okay. This is my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This will be actually, I think we'll have to go a bit towards the left for the solution. So, this is my 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. This is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Okay. Um, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Alright, this is my original signal, this is my modified signal. Alright, I am just going to draw uh, x of n over here, okay. So, I have actually have a value at minus 1, so this is how my original signal looks like. Okay, and the modified signal looks something like this. Okay, uh, it will start with minus 1. You will, once you draw the table, you will understand how you get the modified signal. So, drawing the table is what you have to do on your own. It is similar to how we did in the first problem for x of uh, n plus 1. Okay. Here it goes. So, modified signal is going to look something like this and your original signal is going to look something like this. Okay. So, this is the assignment that you have to do on your own. You just have to make the table on your own. It is very simple. Okay. Not complicated at all. And this is what your answer is going to be. Okay. So, this is how you do uh, the time advance operation on a particular signal.